All right, so we're looking at this this weird guy who we we interpret as being from the United Kingdom. We interpret as being from England. Now, this individual contacted me in mid-2015 for an interview, and he specifically contacted me, asking me, can I interview you about Jordan Maxwell? And I said, no, I don't know you. Me and Jordan had our issues. I'm straight. I don't need nothing from you. You don't need nothing from me. Fine. This guy started making YouTube video after YouTube video about me. <clears throat> then around the same time, I started getting racist death threats. I started having, I, I had people stalking me and all that stuff. This guy started going to YouTube and making fun of me, causing all sorts of problems for me, right? So we're talking about the Stephen Obsolitus guy. So this is my question. Does he even, does Stephen Obsolitus even own his channel? Because he might not even be running that channel. Somebody else might be running it for him, and they may be paying him to make videos. Because I'm going to explain something to you. He uses symbolism in his videos that only pertain to me and what I'm doing. Such as the criminal prosecution concepts that he put up on YouTube. When in fact, the only reason he would even say that, or that would be interpreted in his video, through his video... Is that had to do with Treb channeling? Because uh, Treb always says concepts, concepts, concepts. So everything he's doing on the internet is actually mimicking. Okay, point blank. So that's established. Then on top of that, then on top of that, why would he be able to get a police report right away about the misdemeanor stalking charge? Where did he get it from? And start talking about it all over YouTube. Then he gets these old police reports of me back when I was 17. Me and some friends from high school took some liquor out of open garage. Where did he get all these police reports from? And, and, and why is he spending so much time on YouTube talking about something he doesn't know? You see what I'm saying? Then I go through my trial. I get put in the newspaper. The prosecutor in the courtroom was Benjamin Lee Medema, and the newspaper is Timothy Mack. The whole thing... Is a sham show trial. And the people, like, you know, the, it's, it takes so long to explain. Nothing makes sense. The police report doesn't reflect reality. Then he's saying he called Silent Observer in, in mid-2016. He's saying he called Silent Observer in mid-2016. Then the police, he said I was pulling girl out of the car. And I was talking about pulling the guy out of the car. This was in an interview. This wasn't in the neighborhood. That was part of the setup. You look at the timeline. Because the police were saying, I pulled the girl out of the car, then sent flowers and made YouTube videos. I never pulled any girl out of any car. So Steven was in the comment section on live saying he called Silent Observer talking to the woman, Lynn Moore, who did the article. Why would they put him in the newspaper article? And then now he's on YouTube saying Jamil Gambino Rawls. Why would he, what does that have to do with anything? Why would he do that? And he's attracting mafia guys to my article. This guy is a, this guy is working with informants. He's an informant himself. He told me his grandfather was a Freemason. I know for a fact there are Freemasons involved in the harassment that was happening to me. Stalking. My interpretation, these are low-level <clears throat> Freemasons working with the feds. And, you know, working with the cops and the feds and stuff. And so, you know, nothing makes sense. The obsolete is his channel might not even be his. It might be that they may that somebody might in Muskegon, Michigan could be asking him to do these videos and upload them to the channel. They might have bought the channel from him. Or if it is his channel, there's some sort of connection from Muskegon, England. If he's if he if is is even in England. If he's even in England, he <clears throat> so I don't you know, hopefully the ACLU and NWACP can figure it out. Because this guy is using my name all over the internet attracting mob guys and I'm not scared of the mafia. I've been I've been I got family members who know the mafia. I, my interpretation of the mafia in today's world is business people who own companies. I don't know anything about no <laughs> beyond conspiracy research. I don't know anything about the mob. But this guy's playing with my name saying he he can sit there and say, Jamil Gambino Rawls, Jamil Gambino Rawls but he can't do anything else. He can't say anything about the police or the court transcripts. There's something wrong with that. Before, I'm telling you, the whole, like, every made guy in this country, every mob guy, the whole commission's going to find out who the obsolete is. Because he's an informant. 